YouTube, Rylan Isabella here. So I was just getting myself together and I was doing my eyeliner and I was like, hmm, I bet my subscribers would like to know this little trick that I do. So I have hooded eyes, which means when um, I'm looking straight forward, like I don't have a lot of lid space there. Usually I have a lot of hangover, right? Um, so whenever I do my eyeliner, if I'm not careful, if I have too thick of a line, my overhang runs into it and then it just looks funny. I don't know why, but every time I look into the camera, it looks like I have more than I do. Um, if I'm looking straight into my mirror ahead, yeah, it's, it's just weird. But anyway, it's really difficult for me to do my eyeliner, especially a winged liner, um, if you have hooded eyes you know why. See when I smile? See how my crease comes down and hangs low? If I'm not careful, if I have a wing, it like distorts my wing, if that makes sense. Um, and some days I just don't want a whole lot of eyeliner. I've already done this eye, and what I do is I line underneath my lashes, and that seems really hard, right? This eye, I started, and then I had the thought, oh, well, everybody else might want to know this. <laughs> and before I forget and never record it, I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and record it for everyone. So I use Pharmacy's um, waterproof eye pencil. It looks like this. It's sharpenable. That is what I use because it will stay. Okay. It doesn't disappear throughout the day. And I usually have super dry eyes. Um, but I just had punctal plugs put in, so now it holds my tears in, and I also use, um, drops all day, so my eyes aren't dry anymore, so they're pretty wet, and it still stays on, so. And I guess you're wondering, how the heck do you line under there without stabbing yourself in the eye? Well, here's my trick. I take another, this is like an, an eye pencil, right? And I hold my lashes like that and I kind of pull it so you can like see to line. Now, I will try to do this on camera. I don't have another cameraman behind the scenes helping me out. Um, so I got to kind of look in my phone to do it and I never do this and I really don't want to stab myself in the eye. Um, but this is what I do. So I just hold and then draw like that, right? And if you're looking into a mirror, it's gonna be a whole lot easier than looking into your phone to do that. Um, I hate like getting real up close to the camera because I don't wanna like trip everybody out with my big old forehead. So I'm gonna try to look into a mirror down here and do it. It's kind of hard to do it when your mirror is low down. Usually I'm like looking up into a mirror. So this might be difficult. Let me see if I can find something to heighten my mirror. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I've heightened my mirror. So maybe this will be easier because I really want to do it and you guys be able to see, but you know, learning process, right? So, and it's more difficult to do. I gotta, I gotta practice doing this around everything. See how I did that? Now you want to be really slow and steady when you do this. Don't be in a hurry because you're going to be really close to your eye and I don't want anybody stabbing themselves in the eye. Okay. So when you do this eye, you got to kind of come up over your head with your pencil to pull your eyelid or your, well, your lashes. It's kind of a learning process. Um, but yeah, I know you guys can do it. Simple, barely even have to tug on your lashes, just enough to where they kind of expose that underneath area.
I know it looks really creepy and scary doing it. <laughs> I didn't think I could ever do that. Um, but when I learned this trick, because I've seen people do it and like hold their, with their fingers and stuff. I'm not that coordinated, guys. So that is my easy way to do it. I know you guys can do it. I'm putting all the stuff off my desk, getting it out of my way. Um, but yeah, and see how it's nice and black underneath there. And I don't have to worry about going up on my eyelid. It's just perfect that way. So if you're wanting to go for a light eyeliner look and you have hooded eyes, if you have hooded eyes, you know, it's hard to do a light eyeliner look. I'm always messing mine up, always. So that's how I do that. I should have left my mirror up. Um, I'm going to throw on some mascara. I'm going to use Pharmacy's Zen Mascara. This is our uh, most affordable mascara. I believe it with taxes and everything, it's probably around $9. I'm not very good at remembering prices, but I'm not even going to bother with curling my lashes right now. I'm not really doing much today, so I'm not worried about it being perfect. <laughs> It's just a chilly day. Today's Saturday. Don't have anything going on. I haven't really been feeling all that good. I think I need a new mascara. Mine is drying out. Um, but see how like nice and natural that looks. Nothing too wild. That's what I love about the Zen because you can do like a big look with it or a very nice, subtle, natural look. Okay, so my next thing that I figured I would show you guys today is how I overline my lips. Um, a lot of people, when they overline their lips, I'm like, yee. Like you can see the line and no, I don't like it when you can see the line. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I overline my lips and I'm using the pharmacy's lip liner in 223 and then I'm using our matte liquid lipstick in the color goddess. So let's do this. All right. I need a mirror up high. I can't do this low mirror thing that just creeps me out anyway let's let's show you so I always start with my top lip now I kind of go out of the line like right in here because I like kind of the I don't know if you've heard of them before but they're like brat dolls I like that sort of lip I'm going to try to do this where y'all can see. So I start down low. So see, right in there, I like barely go over where my natural lip is. And then I bring it right back in where it's supposed to be. So I'm barely overlining right in that area. This side, I don't even have to overline as much as I do this side because my lips aren't perfectly even as anyone's. The bottom I hardly overline. 
I really just go like right underneath where my lip is. Then I cut in. I don't I don't like to go all the way out to the corners. I like to kind of shade it in the corners out a little bit. Can you see how I've shaded like a little thicker in the corner? I also do it on the top. Kind of have to show you guys after I do it because it's hard to talk and do this. If you want it higher, you can always bring your line higher. You don't have to erase what you've done. Okay, so when you get your lips drawn out like that, then you want to bring your line down to where your actual lip is. So see on this side, you can kind of see where my actual the little white part we're going to fill in. So we're basically just going to come down and thicken up that line a little. There we go. So the thicker that your liner is in that area where you overline into your lip, you're not going to be able to see where your actual lip is. So you won't be able to tell that you've overlined. Does that make sense? I'm not very good at explaining or wording things, but hopefully you get my drift. Now we're going to take our lipstick and I find matte colors look the best especially ones that are long lasting I always start around the edges and then go and fill in the middle I try to leave a smidgen, like literally the teeniest bit of liner on the edges. So we got the top. So we let it dry just a teeny, teeny bit. Usually I have something here to fan. Well, usually, don't know what I did with my little thing. Oh well. So we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go back in 
a little bit thicker right up in the area where we overlined. Because like I said, the thicker the product, you're not gonna be able to tell that you overlined. Sorry, my child was wanting me. Okay, see how the thicker that I put it on, it's like you can't even really tell I overlined. Barely, barely over here where the light is shining. But we can always let that dry some more and then go in again. Just up there at the corner. You don't have to thicken everywhere because you you just want to keep it thick where the overline is. And also just to let you know, play with the colors because a lot of times when I use like a darker brown, um, for the liner and like leave a teeny bit like it helps camouflage that overline even more so play with your colors because um, different colors are going to do different things obviously so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you liked it give me a like uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload new videos and yeah share it with your friends or with people that you might think would benefit from this video. Um, but anyways, I love you guys and until next time, see you later.